Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and finally welcome back to episode 4 of my apartment series You guys have been waiting for this video for so long Like I get messages on my Instagram every single day asking when the next episode is gonna be up I am so thankful for the love on this series However, it must come to an end because in this video I'm finishing my decor ah, Can't believe I'm done <laughs> There is a few things that is up on the agenda in this video. I am going to move around some furniture. I am receiving my last pieces of furniture as well. And then I'm doing some last like touch-ups on this house. But most importantly, I'm putting up posters. Yay! <laughs> That's right, this video is sponsored by Desenio, which I am so honored and so happy to be working with them because I have been seeing their posters everywhere. Honestly, guys, if you don't know about Desenio, they are a poster website where you can literally find any poster you would want. Like, they have so many different selections of beautiful posters in every kind of category, so there is 100% certainty something that you would like in there. There was certainly a lot that I liked, so I don't want to continue to ramble on in this intro, but I'm telling you it's gonna be a good one. Let's go ahead and pick out some posters, shall we? I feel like putting something up on the wall is kind of now that I have the TV table that I'm gonna show you in the next clip. Um, I feel like that's kind of what is really missing from this place right now, because right now we just have you know, the furniture put down. I don't have many little nips things and I feel like putting something up on the wall will make this house so much more personal and homey. So I'm so excited to do that. Before I start with my whole inspiration, uh, searching and such for this, I want to show you guys the clip of me receiving my TV table. So you will see that now and then I'll come back to you again. So look what just came in the door. This is officially my last like big proper furniture um, that I needed in this house to make it feel like complete to a sense. Obviously there are still like the little things that's gonna add the personal touch, but um, this I'm so excited that it's here. As you can see, it's also in a dark wood, so it is a lot of dark wood in here. And um, I actually asked my mom, because my mom is the reason why I love like interior. She's amazing at what she does. She literally built like all of um, our house back in Denmark. It's so cozy. Um, so I asked her for help and she actually recommended me to get something in either another color or like gray or white instead of the wood. But I just like fell in love with this when I saw it. It has a ton of storage inside, which is great because I did not want my makeup to be out in the room, like open space anymore. I just have one idea and that is to actually maybe move the couch to the other side here and then have these new furniture, like TV table-ish standing there. Um, it is a lot going on in this side of the room since all of my big furniture is actually there. like. My um, bed is pushed to that side of the room, my couch pushed to that side of the room, and the dining table as well is on this side. It's a little bit unbalanced, and as some of you guys actually noticed, it wouldn't be very great if I one day will have a TV to have it underneath the AC, because that will leak water might, and that can ruin the TV, so... Look at this, there is a little hole here to put wires in and that is great because I want to be able to push it all the way up through here and I really can't do that if these are sticking out. So that is perfect. I'm gonna wire through the Wi-Fi and everything in there so that's also hidden away inside the box. <gasps> wow, this is amazing. <laughs> These 
these units were really really affordable in my opinion actually it's like a good quality and it looks super elegant and nice like each unit is sixty dollars so i spent like 180 dollars on this like good quality piece of furniture which if you move out again you can sell again for a decent price and i would very gladly invest a little more money in my home because my home is where I work from, it's where I sleep, it's where I stay. I spend 90% of my time here at home. I know that it might seem like a lot of spending for someone who lives here on, you know, undecidable time in Korea, but this is very important to me. And these days I'm not spending much money on anything else than this. So uh, yeah, it's very important to me. So this is how I decided to fill up the makeup cabinet. Okay, I definitely need some more organizing here, um, like a few baskets maybe or something, but uh, yeah. For now, at least it's away and out of my sight. <laughs> I think that I'm gonna take some pictures of it and put it up on the Instagram and uh, see if there's any one of you guys living here who wants to um, come get it for free. <laughs> uh, there is like a, a dumping station for this kind of furniture literally in the first floor of my building, so I could just put it there, but I think I'm just gonna let some of you guys have the chance to get it if you want first. Hi, I'm back. How was it? Do you like it? I love the table. It's so beautiful, right? It just fits perfectly in with this dark wood theme that I have going on. Um, so now I want to go on Pinterest because Pinterest, as I already told you guys in my previous episode, is such a great place for inspiration, for decor and everything. And especially when it comes to um, photo walls, they have so many like amazing photos in there that like I can get inspiration. Yeah, so I'm gonna find a lot of different inspirations of posters and everything that I want to like um, do in my house. Um, I'll show you guys what I found. So I was thinking of doing the photo wall up over the TV table here because this is just a really big white space right now and this is what I'm kind of looking at when I'm sitting in my couch and then I would love to have just one like A4 sized one up here in the corner over the couch that would look really cute as well and then we have in the bedroom here I would love to have like two really big ones in here oh yeah I would love to put up something here. I feel like that just does a really nice, like gives a really nice effect in a bathroom when there is some art in there. So yeah, I would love to do that maybe. Let's see what my budget is. I wanna make a board on Pinterest of like ideas for the poster walls just so that I can like have it all saved at one place. Okay guys, it's the next day now and I have had like some time to find some posters that I really loved um, and I'm not sure, you know, how I'm supposed to like hang them up or if they fit how I imagined in my head so a tip for you guys is to actually take a photo of the wall that you want to put the photos up and make the photo wall up and then put it into whatever program you use I'm just gonna put it into PowerPoint and then drag the photos over it so you can see how they match together how it's gonna look together with your furniture and the colors in your room and everything so that's what I'm gonna do so I want the photo wall here that means you're gonna just okay perfect let's put it into PowerPoint <laughs> okay guys so we have the two photos here and now I'm just gonna like take the photos that I enjoy, take a screenshot, like a little snip off them, and then plug them in here. So for the living room, I have these two different options, and this is the first one, and then we have this one as the second one, and I'm not really sure which one I like more. I think I like the second one better, like this one. I'm not sure and then like since there's so much color in here I want to keep the bedroom quite simple so I thought this was so cute like a lotus pose and a breathe poster but I also have two other options which is this one and this one but I think it's gonna be too much color so maybe keep it simple there table has 
arrived guys and I am loving it. I am so glad that the one that I originally wanted was sold out um, because I think this one ultimately like fit this room a lot better. The original that I wanted was um, a complete white table that kind of like uh, would look a lot bigger and bulkier in this room since obviously it's not a big room so I think the glass just suits it perfectly and it's exactly like the current style that I love so yeah I'm going to decorate this table a little bit my friend sent me like some uh, items that she bought online for uh, like a uh, for my house so I think I'm just gonna decorate it with this glass tray and some this one I had on the dining table before and I think I still really love the color and it looks so cute with these dried like flowers in it. I recently just got these in um, Ikea. I went to help my friend with designing his office space. Um, so I bought these for myself there as well. I think these are gonna look cute here as well. I'm having this huge obsession of glass, guys. And then this candle I've seen everywhere on the Korean interior Instagrams and um, my friend actually got this for me as well. It's super cute, right? Like, so aesthetic. So I'm gonna put this down here. And no, I'm not gonna burn it because it's too pretty to burn. I think this is the last piece of furniture that I wanted in here. I was gonna get a rug, but honestly, I think that it's better without it. Yeah. I can also save some money then. I have a really, really exciting package because guess what arrived? Let me get it. Oh my god, it's from Desenio! Yay! Let's unbox this baby. So these are the kind of frames that you're actually allowed to order when you live like far away like I do, which are um yeah, it's hard to explain. I'm gonna show you guys because this is gonna look so cool. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. You might be shocked because I ended up with a completely different design than the one I showed you. So while I'm hanging this up, you guys are gonna have a little surprise as well and I really hope that you love it. I am going to first put out like all of the posters on the floor in the design that I wanted because mm, I see that how I did it on the computer, the size differences in them are not really shown correctly. So before I start to put up anything with uh, tape, I am going to just lay it out on the floor just to, you know, give myself an idea of how the sides look together or if I have to change anything um, accordingly to my pre-made um, design on the computer. Okay, so guys, this is how I am going to hang it up. This is actually exactly how I did it on my computer screen, but the size difference between the big one and the really small ones are a little bit too big um, compared to at least what I did on my computer screen. But when I hang it up like this, it works out okay. So I'm going to put this up on the wall. Okay guys, this is the final look. Isn't it just cute? It looks so good and I can't believe that like this wall finally looks finished. Wow. So 
So as I said earlier on in this video, I think that this area right here would be perfect for hanging up something, either like a clock or something, but I actually decided that I wanted to put up posters there as well. So I got two matching posters to hang up in this corner. Let me show them to you because they are so cute. In my show you what these are um, so basically these are hangers like glassless hangers and it's like magnetic wood that kind of hooks to the to the poster so that it doesn't you know curl up and such like this it's basically just like that you put this to the bottom and you put this one to the top and you have little pieces of string here that can hold up the um, the string this is one of my f oops it's upside down <laughs> this is one of my favorites of the one that i ordered i really wanted boobs in my toilet like i i just wanted boobs i love boobs boobs are beautiful and all kinds of them and um yeah i'm so excited to put this up in my bathroom because i feel like that's just gonna make it look a little more homey i love like bathroom art it's just transforming a bathroom completely oh my god that was so easy I um, have one last big piece that I want to hang up and that is for my bedroom. I wanted something in that wall in there but since like when you sit here in the couch you're technically watching both walls like it looks like it's the same wall although it's two different rooms because I always have the sliding doors you know open. Um, so I don't want it too much going on in my bedroom, but I still want something because, you know, it's just a white wall right now. So the poster that I ended up with is looking like this. Isn't it cute? I think I'm just gonna tie like a double knot and then cut the remaining string off here. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations so, oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold. So there we go, that's all of the posters up and I am so incredibly happy with how this turned out. If you guys are interested in any of the same posters that I got or just want to check out the Senio's website in general because there are a ton of beautiful posters there guys, I've linked everything down below and I've also put down a little coupon code for you guys. I feel so free. Okay, my hair is extremely greased right now, so <laughs> I apologize, but honestly, I have no idea how to use this. Can I just pull? Okay, I can just pull. So I think we should like cut off the tip first. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Now I'm kind of curious about how it's gonna like turn out here. I do think I need like a flattening tool instead of using these wipes to do that. Why is my floor so dirty? I just cleaned it. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I Okay guys, this is certainly not perfect, but it is a lot better than before. Oh my god. I was actually thinking about something else and that is these like yellow edges that I have here and I have it in the kitchen as well. I have some white paint left. I'm not sure if it's gonna stick on plastic like this, but they were just really doing like a sloppy job during this bathroom. Look at this, like this is ridiculous. This is the paint that I used in um, on my veranda when I was filming for the TV show. I think I'm gonna take it like this. Ooh. This glides on really smoothly. Oh wow, okay, so this is how it looks now. 
look it's at least white like it's not perfect at all as you can see like they you can still see their really slobby job <laughs> but um at least it doesn't look like this anymore um i was like supposed to paint this too but i ran out of tape so i'm gonna wait till tomorrow till i buy some new okay guys it's the next day and i got some masking tape and the floor down here looks so good my like my bathroom just looks so much cleaner than before Since um, technically you're not like allowed to change anything, you can't really change back again. And I can't really change these back. And also the floor, it's gonna be a little hard to peel that off again, but um, I think it's safe to say that whatever I'm doing like this is something that they would wanna keep <laughs> and that they would be happy for me doing instead of them because it's really just a matter of maintenance. So that's why I'm like, painting stuff and these kind of things. It is a rental still and I'm pretty sure I'll get my deposit back so no worries there. Especially because the deposit is like $20,000. I would want to have that back. Oh my sweet baby. Let's do it. So this is what I mean out here in the kitchen. But it's so random with like this yellow edge here. I don't like, didn't they have the choice to go with something white? I don't really understand. It's even like super dirty up here. I can't wait to paint this one. Oh. Colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. Oh, wow. I can't believe how my house is turning out. It's feeling so nice to be here and I feel so at home now, now that I have like all of these major things under control in my house. It feels amazing and I can definitely see myself living here for the rest of the time that I decide to be in Korea. I don't know if I'm done here. I think like there is nothing more that I have on my like checklist to-do list here but I will definitely I would love to do more like apartment interior related things and also like cleaning um, closet clean out and such in this channel so I definitely don't want to stop yeah producing apartment content but I think um, the next episode of this series is gonna be my finished house tour um, so yeah guys just stay tuned for that and also, once again, like huge thank you to Desenio for sponsoring this episode. I am so honored and they really put the kiss to the house. <laughs> it's amazing, it looks so nice. See you guys in my next video. Bye!